U.S. election. Trump tears into rising Republican rival DeSantis. Let's fucking go. This is what we want. This is what we need, baby. Let's go. So, for those of you guys that don't know, Ron DeSantis is a demon. He is an actual demon who heralds from my home state, my homeland of Florida. Now, Republicans have been hard at work at destroying everything that uh, makes Florida good for a very long time. And Ron DeSantis is the current one doing that. He is the current governor of Florida, and he's just a massive, massive piece of shit. He's pushed a lot of the anti-trans bills in Florida. He's obviously very racist. He's just literally, he's actually a fascist. Like, I am pretty certain I could defend the statement that Ron DeSantis is a fascist. Um, the bills that he supports, the policies and ideology that he adheres with is is pretty damn close to fascism, just outright. He's pretty fucking bad as far as Republicans go. He is also very popular, and he's quickly growing a fan base, maybe not to the same scale as Donald Trump, but definitely with nearly the same level of fervor. The problem is, he's far more competent and collected than Donald Trump. Now, let's talk about Florida and Ron DeSantis. Florida right now is the Republican state. Um, let me see if I can bring up, like, uh, how do I want to, like, illustrate this point? Florida is one of the most powerful states in America, despite not really being all that special as far as what it provides being, right? Like, I guess there's some lumber and farming opportunities in Florida, but outside of that, like, really, the thing that makes all the money as far as Florida goes, the thing that really makes Florida a prosperous state, is its tourism industry. Florida has really, really skipped by on its tourism industry for a long time. You know, like Disney World, the, the theme parks and all that. That's obviously the thing that po comes to mind immediately. But why did they build Disney World, Sea World, Bush Gardens, Wet n Wild, all of these water parks, amusement parks, and famous zoos, all of these places, why are they built in Florida, of all places? What's so special about Florida that attracts them there? Tax breaks, that's one thing. But what makes it so that they would want to choose that as a location? There are ways to... They could do tax breaks in other states. Why is Florida the state they choose? Florida is beautiful. Florida's natural beauty is literally, uh, like, unrivaled and has been for a very long time. Florida has literally been the go-to state of beauty for a long time. Look at this, um... I literally recognize this right here. This is Dry Tortuga. This is the fort off the coast of um, of Key West. Look at this shit. You can just take a boat to go visit this. This is literally a Spanish sea fort. You can just go visit off the coast of the Keys. You can literally take a dinghy boat out to go visit this and just go pull up and walk around the Spanish fort. That is just one of many things you can do. Um, I mean, if we just look on Google Images at like, if you look up beautiful Florida, the things you'll see. Like, it truly is a beautiful state. Like, the beauty of Florida is... is astonishing at times, if you know where to look. I know where this is. This is Wikiwatchy Springs. This is Wikiwatch. Is this? I think this is Wikiwatch. This could be Homosassa River. Um, or Seven Sisters Springs, too, but it looks a lot like Wikiwatchy. There is a lot of natural beauty in Florida. And a lot of it is free to access. You can go to Florida, stay in a hotel or at a friend's house, and drive 20 minutes or an hour at most to go to a natural spring that's free to visit and swim in crystal clear 75 degree water. And, and it just pull up, park, walk down a, a staircase, and you go, walk, go there. I've done it all the time in my childhood. However, something that has happened in my lifetime that my mom had told, has told me it's only got, been getting worse since she was a kid, is the destruction of Florida's natural beauty. Florida has always been a solid red state. And over time, they have continuously been destroying the beaches 
and the natural beauty of Florida. The wetlands are getting destroyed. The Everglades, destroyed. The beaches, destroyed. There was a time when every, like, just about every beach in Florida looked like, you know, like a tropical beach. Like, every beach in Florida at one point, not every beach necessarily, but a lot of Florida beaches looked like this. Like, if you look at postcards and images from, like, the 1950s and 1960s of Florida beaches that are nowadays, like, nothing like that, they looked like that back then. There are very few beaches left in Florida that are known about that actually feature the level of, like, pristine, tourist-attracting beauty that, um, you know, is iconic to Florida. And they're just getting worse. Um, as a matter of fact, what's, um, here, best beach in Florida. Let's see a video about the best beach in Florida. Like, these beaches are not, this is what most beaches in Florida look like. This is what most beaches in Florida look like now. You get some, like, you got grass, and then you got sand, and then you've got murky water that doesn't even really become clear enough to, like, have visibility until out here, like out, out where it starts turning blue. This is what the vast majority of Florida beaches look like now. This is what a lot of Florida, now let me show you what a lot of Florida beaches looked like when I was a kid. And with our travel trip. Most Florida beaches looked like this when I was a kid. A lot of them pursuit of the looked more like, oh God damn. A lot of them looked more like this, like, a lot of beaches in Florida when I was a kid literally looked like this. This is going away. This beach is only going to get worse. This beautiful beach right there that you see is not going to look like this in five years. It is going to look... Here, can we... It is going to look more like this in five years than it does in that previous picture. Do you want to hear an example of how this is happening? Well, obviously the Republicans hate the EPA. They love gutting the EPA and they love gutting environmental protections. But some of the best beaches in Florida are already having massive changes and policy changes made to them as we speak that are going to ruin them. One of the best beaches in Florida, I forget what the name of it is. Um, can't think of the exact beach right now. It's not Daytona, but um, it is one of the few beaches in Florida on the main coast that looks like a tropical, picturesque, like, you know, like, screensaver avatar. Siesta Key, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, small slap. Thank you. It's Siesta Key. Recently, they just passed an ordinance, the Republican legislature passed an ordinance, which is now allowing, like, high-rises to be built in Siesta Key. Siesta Key, up until this point, has had a rule against expansion up and out. So right now it's literally just a small quaint little beach town with bungalows and huts and little restaurants and uh, a nice main street and everything. It is beautiful, picturesque, with amazing clear blue water. In five to ten years, it is going to be nothing but high rises. Uh, they're already making like this really bad uh, uh, like reality show there that's going to attract even more people. Um, the Republicans do not have the desire to preserve these natural environments despite how much traffic they get with all of the tourism. The tourism is simultaneously powering Florida's economy and its prosperity, but the tourism is also destroying what is causing its prosperity. And the Republicans are not willing to implement safeguards to, like, keep it intact. Within the next few decades, the beaches of Florida are going to be annihilated if things keep going the way they are. There is not going to be a picturesque, tropical, crystal clear beach left in Florida within the next 30 years, in my estimate, if things do not change quick. I watched, as in my lifetime, entire coastlines that when I was 10 years old I could visit and they looked like literal postcards would turn into places I would not want to get into the water because there wasn't good enough visibility. And it's like, why do I even want to? It, like, the water's creepy. When it's that, like, murky and polluted. I've seen beaches go from top 10 best beaches in America to 
who would even want to go there? That's literally just a side of the road, like pull over and maybe have a sunbathe beach in my lifetime. This is what happens when Republicans have control of a place like that. So that is what's going to continue to happen as Florida becomes an even stronger uh, Republican like bastion. Uh, basically, they're going to destroy everything that has offered them economic uh, prosperity. And Florida is going to become a shithole. Florida is going to become a shithole. There is not going to be any natural beauty, which will mean all that there is to attract people to the state for tourism will be the amusement parks. parks. Amusement parks are expensive, though. And aren't really going to be that, like, do you really think amusement parks are, are going to be that beneficial of a long-term business strategy for Florida? They don't have much of an industry to go off of. They're destroying their fishing industry. They allow oil to be pumped off of the coast in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, like, oil spills are constantly destroying the fishing industry and the, and the ocean off the coast. So eventually the Gulf is going to be a dead ocean. Not a dead ocean, but not really as good for fishing anymore. And they're just going to have the Atlantic. So the Atlantic coast will be the only one with any real economic prosperity. Prosperity, sorry. And uh, yeah, it, it's literally just Florida. The more Republican it gets, the more it dooms itself. And this prosperity that Florida has had to point to as why apparently Republican leadership is good is just going to end up biting it in the ass and Florida is going to become, more so than it already is, the crotch of America. Florida is be going to become the stinking, fetid, decaying, rotten, dank, moist taint of America. It is going to be like one of the least economic, pros like prosperous, poorest states of all of them. It is going to be just another, like, backwater, redneck, low-income state because of what the Republicans are doing, and the people there are going to fucking suffer. Florida is going to become Georgia, too. Florida will literally be no different than Georgia insofar as what there is to do there. What is there to do in Georgia? What is there to do in Georgia, chat? There's nothing to do in Georgia except live there. That's pretty much it, you know? And that's what's going to happen in Florida, too. There's nothing. There's going to be nothing to do in Florida than to live there. And wish that you lived somewhere else that was more exciting and that had better leadership, uh, like, in terms of government. Wow, Zan, they're dead. You can stop now, lol. Listen, I'm saying all of this as a born and raised Floridian. This is me speaking about the state that I've lived in literally up until I was 21 years old, my entire life, and have watched as it's only gotten worse. Moving on, moving on from that, I want to talk about Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis are uh, having a little bit of a tiff at the moment that is no doubt going to escalate into a massive political rivalry that may very well tear the Republican Party apart, which I could not be more thrilled about. However, it is very important. What's this? Um, it is very, very possible that um, this sundering of the Republican Party between Trump and DeSantis could be Florida's saving grace. Most Floridians are diehard Trump fans. Florid Florida is Trump's fucking state. They love him there. But they also really love DeSantis. So I don't know how this turns out, but I really hope it results in a Democrat actually having a decent chance at the governor's seat in Florida. Because just one term of a Democrat governor, like a decent Democrat governor, could really result in substantial changes that, that like help. Florida's natural beauty for a long time to come because I have always been of the opinion the only thing that is good about Florida in my view has been its natural beauty and they're destroying it the Republicans are destroying it faster and faster by the day so if the Republicans want to keep their you know main home state a place that anybody even wants to live then I don't know maybe we do want Florida 
to stay a Republican state that they keep moving to. Because the more Republicans that move out of purple states to red states, the better. And the more Republicans that move out of blue states to red states, the better. Because that just holds those states more firmly blue and swings those purple states firm more blue. And, you know, you want a state that is as red as Florida to just get more red and to have more of the red from the rest of the country that could be influencing elections moving to where it really wouldn't make much of a difference because it was going to go red anyway. Anyway, if you enjoyed this segment and uh, you want to see uh, you want to see more, you guys know how to support me. You guys know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and uh, have a good one.